Hey, Jared here from SoundGuitarLessons.com, where I teach musicianship skills on the guitar so we can express ourselves more freely. In today's lesson, I will be sharing with you the top five guitar strumming patterns that I think every guitarist should know. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, these patterns are going to add some variety, some interest to your playing, and they are perfect for a wide range of musical styles. I'm going to show you each of these five guitar strumming patterns and how to make them sound good with a few subtle pieces of advice along the way. So grab your guitar and let's get started. Let's do strumming pattern number one. This strumming pattern is just the basic down up strumming pattern. We can just call it basic down up strum. Down up, down up, down up, down up. This is like the foundation of every other strumming pattern. So we just want to be able to do this and it's surprising how good it can sound. Uh, it's definitely just something to practice for the technical ability of having a steady down up strum which would then we're going to create other strumming patterns uh, by taking away articulations from that basic constant down up strum drum but check out how good it can sound actually and there's just a couple subtle things that we want to do so if we're going down up down up down up doesn't sound that great but here's kind of a feel that can work with it down up down up down up down up down up now notice on every other down I'm accenting this could be really nice in a certain type of feel you can hear kind of a drum beat to it that might be This combined with embellishments or other strumming patterns can be really powerful. It's pretty fast. Notice how I did a little, little extra kind of uh, 16th note strum in the middle there. That's an example of how we can start to spice up strumming patterns after we start getting used to them. So that's the basic down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, just constant. And you really want to accent every other down or accent somewhere and also emphasize different strings at different times to make something like that sound good. Otherwise, it's going to sound really just robotic and not musical. Let's move on to strumming pattern number two. Check out this strumming pattern. This is something we can call the double down up strum. If we take the basic down up strum, which is just down, up, down, up, down, up, we want to go down, down, and then up, up down up this is the most common strumming pattern of all time it is extremely ubiquitous down down up up down up 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 down down up now the secret is that we're still moving our hand down and up constantly the same as just the basic down up strum the constant strum down down up up down up and we're just choosing to not hit the strings as we pass it we're going down up without hitting the strings down again and now up and now down without hitting the strings and then up again and then down up at the end down down up up down up down down up up down up down so I'm doing fast strumming patterns but this is used nice and slow as well you can hear how that is very very common strumming pattern works with uh, many many styles and at many many tempos let's move on to strumming pattern number three this strumming pattern is really cool it could be called the gallop strumming pattern because it gets kind of a horse galloping kind of sound it's very very common in metal music but a lot of other genres as well and it sounds like this now I'm using a little bit of a palm mute here where I'm slightly touching the strings at the bridge, but also um, not fully on or off the string, which is getting it just muted a little. And that's a great way to do this. So if you get some heavy distortion and you can get that hard rock sound. Okay, now one thing that, that I'm doing here when I landed on that E, I strum the whole E and then I'm just playing the bottom. That's kind of a cool way to orchestrate our chords. I call it orchestrating where we're not just playing every string evenly all the time. I've talked about that before with some technique advice on the guitar, um, but it works really great with any strumming pattern where you're, you're choosing, am I going to hit the lower strings or the higher strings at different times? This is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And what it is is a quarter note and then two sixteenth notes down down up down down up and notice I was breaking it up with bum, bum, just to create kind of a song kind of a song feel out of it by breaking it up a little bit and then going back to that strumming pattern you can use it any way you want to it can really be used with all kinds of chords it doesn't have to be that power chord kind of sound but it just works really well with that let's move on to strumming pattern number four 
this strumming pattern I think of especially as kind of a Carter family style kind of folk and country strumming pattern. We're using a flat pick here. You can also do a version of this with finger picking, but in this one, we're actually going to use that gallop feel. And this shows how interesting it is. We can get different genres of music, different styles and sounds and, and textures with the same kind of rhythmic feel, but with something slightly different. So this, we're going to do that same gallop feel down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. But this time we're going to pluck just the root note, just a bass note on the first one, and then the down up is gonna be the upper strings. So root, down up on the upper strings. Bass note or root, I like to alternate the root with something else in the chord. You can experiment and do it any way you want. If we're on F. Really great practice for accuracy of the right hand to are we hitting these bass notes with the pick. If you want to learn how to walk between chords like that, I have a video on that. I'll put that link to that in the description. This works really well with muting as well. That is the pattern. Bass, down, up on the upper strings. Bass, down, up on the upper strings. We can call that the flat-picked Carter family style strumming or just Carter family style is kind of just what I tend to call it and think of it as. Let's move on to strumming pattern number five. This strumming pattern is super fun. This is a 16th note funky strumming pattern. We could just think of it as kind of a ubiquitous funk kind of strum and it has a polyrhythm built into it, which means that we are getting a sense of a different time signature within the time signature that we're in. You're gonna see what I mean here. So the first thing we wanna do though is just feel a slow 4-4 four, four tempo and then make sure we can go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one, two, three, four. Sixteenth notes down and up constantly. Now we want to play every third articulation of this. I'm just gonna bar top four strings. This is a cool kind of minor seventh chord voicing. That's great for this uh, type of strumming feel for the funky 16th note strum. So I'm gonna play chord, click, click, chord, click, click, chord, click, click. Okay, so every time I'm getting the chord with a different direction of the strung, down, up, down, up, four of them in a row. And then the last one is just a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, Okay, that last one is on beat four and it gets us back into the four four feel. But prior to that, it feels like it's this three over four kind of polyrhythm feel and it's very syncopated and that's why it's so funky and so cool. So here's an example of using that. I'm using that top four strings voicing and then a voicing I really like. This is also A minor, just thinking on an A minor chord here. Once you have that, then you can add a, either at the beginning or the end, which adds to that kind of funk sound. So if I add that to the beginning, it sounds like. Or if you add that constant one, two, three, four, 16th note thing at the end of it, then it sounds like this. Really, really fun one. It's my favorite one. That's why I saved it for last. Also, I did this strumming pattern as an example in my octaves video. Check out that video. Link in the description if you need to. Especially sliding into it. This is a very common kind of octave funky used in like heavy rock to like kind of rock rap style stuff to absolute just straight up funk to all kinds of things. Here's a bonus tip about strumming. We often think of strumming with the pick, but I want you to also be able to strum with the fingers if you're a fingerstyle player, or if you just need to because you're in a pinch and don't have your pick with you or whatever, and I love the sound of it too. And this is just something to work on. It's pretty straightforward. You just wanna strum down with the backs of your fingers, kind of hitting the fingernails, even if you don't have nails, I don't have nails, and then up with the back of the thumbnail. So you wanna go fingernails down, thumbnail up, fingernails down, thumbnail up, and you can do all these same strumming patterns with this, okay? Now now it can be, I use a lot of times just this middle finger. Okay, so I'll do, and I'm using middle finger and then thumb up, middle finger down, or the middle two fingers, I do that a lot. Okay, or even the first finger. So it can be any of these or these three fingers. So it does, there's no really right or wrong way. You just wanna be able to strum with the fingers. And notice how light I'm strumming. Thank you. 
and then kind of using dynamics, just an extra little side tip as well, that dynamics and orchestration while strumming make all the difference in the world. Are we plucking certain notes on purpose like the Carter family style? Are we playing low then high to let the high notes ring while we keep strumming the bottom? Don't just strum all the strings equally all the time in your strumming. If you do that, do it on purpose because you want that sound. Otherwise, play with orchestrating, choosing certain strings, and also dynamics where sometimes you're accenting, sometimes you're laying off, just like I showed you in several of these examples. If you want an amazing resource to practice these very strumming patterns with, I have a really, really great chord chart called Chords with Color. It gives you all these amazing chords, chords that you probably have never played before, at least some shapes you've never played before that get beautiful, lush, colorful chord sounds, not just typical chord sounds, and it shows the theory of them. There's many, many ways to use that chord chart. You can down download that totally for free with the link in the top of the description, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color. What I highly recommend watching next is my video on walking between chords, just like I did a little bit of in this video, because if you like any of these strumming patterns, especially the first three, then walking between chords can take your strumming and your chord progressions to the next level and make them more unique and more individual for you. I just did a video about that recently, so check that out. There will be a link on the screen here if you're watching on YouTube. You can click on that to go check out Walking Between Chords When Strumming, or there's a link in the description as well. I post a new lesson video every week. Next week's lesson is on how to count odd time signatures like 5-4 and 7-4, how to play in 5-4 and 7-4. It's going to be a really cool lesson. I hope to see you there, and I hope you enjoyed the top five strumming patterns in this video. Leave me a comment if you liked it. Hit the like button if you liked it. Thanks so much. See you next week. Take care and happy practicing.